Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Kathy, and today we're going to show you how we deal with a case of mismothering. This is what we've got in the lambing pasture today. It's May 3rd, and we're probably about a third of the way done. So you can see the ewes have plenty of space, got lots of grass, but sometimes a new mom and a mom whose babies are just about to be born get together and then we get problems and that's called mismothering. And the reason it's a big deal is because you see a lamb trotting along with a ewe and you think, all right, everything's great. And it is as long as that's actually the mom. If that's not the biological mom, then when that mom has her babies, she won't take care of the other lamb that isn't really her biological lamb. Then that lamb is lost because it's real mom doesn't think it belongs over there anymore and it's foster mom now has babies of her own so that's where this mismothering thing gets crazy and since we're out here on pasture we don't have the lambing jugs which are little individual pens like you would have inside we can move them in like the you we're going to show you if we need to but for the most part, we count on the ewes doing their own thing out here. And for the most part, it does work fine. Occasionally, things get a little mixed up. So this is one of those things we're going to talk about mismothering a little bit today and what way to deal with the situation we've got here. Um, we're out there checking these day and night. And a lot of people will go over you know, chilled lambs, hypothermia, checking for that. And, you know, the, the biggie is lambing problems, dystocia, having, pulling lambs, that kind of thing. But this is one of the things that doesn't really get covered very much, but it's pretty important because matching, especially in a situation with a lot of use, lambing in a short period of time, mismothering becomes an issue if, if you're not on it. And this is just one of the situations we're dealing with here. And we're going to show you how we're doing it. Trying to fix the situation. Okay guys, we just wanted to show you. Had a little bit of a mix up last night. Things have been going well, but this ewe lambed early yesterday morning. And um, While she was asleep in the shade of the water wagon, two other ewes came and started lambing nearby and her lambs wandered off while she was sleeping and were trying to nurse off those ewes that were trying to lamb and, you know, they, they were getting the birth amniotic fluid and rubbing up against the lambs as they were born and nursing off the ewes trying to have lambs and, um, the other ewes were licking them, so they, when all was said and done and we got out there to straighten it out, as you can see the lamb on the right, or the left, she's okay with that one back there it seems. And I saw her knock that off a few times, but see, she's, she's okay with that one. But this one over here. It's a day later and she's still not liking it very much. I don't know how this is going to end, whether it's going to become a bottle baby or not. But um, see, she'll, she'll knock at that one a little bit, but she still lets it nurse. But that one, she won't let it nurse. And if we take these out of the pen one at a time even, she'll still, still talk to them and everything. But she's just, she's not liking the smell they came back with. And this is something... A younger ewe, this might pass on, but these older ewes, they know what they're doing. So we're just going to, we've just been catching her like every six hours, and I don't know how much you can see of her udder, but one side's nursed out pretty good by the one lamb she's letting, and the other side's full, so we'll 
we'll tie her up and we'll let that lamb that she's not liking, we'll let it nurse that full side out and get a full belly. And we're hoping once that fresh smell wears off and she knows those are her lambs and get a little bit more of her milk through it that she'll end up taking them both. But you never know what these older use. So we'll just tie her off over there. And there's what he's saying. See how the bottom's uneven? You know, like you see this one, it's just, it's empty. I mean, And it knows what it's doing. I mean, got a potty break. But in a different situation, if there was any other problems with her, like, um, one-sided udder, not a lot of milk, if the lambs were weak, we'd, we'd just take it as a bottle lamb. This ewe has just tons of milk. So if we can spend a few days here, a little bit extra time, she's easy to catch. Um, get this guy going again. It's better for us and the lamb and for the ewe for the most part to have two babies in there. Yeah, there's a lot of milk. You can just see the milk on the side of the baby's face. It's <laughs> and the udder is good. It's so good and soft. Yeah, she just got the smells of other lambs on them. And when they came back to her when she got up, she, she just didn't feel they were hers anymore. But... When they cry, she talks to them. So there's still a chance she can, she'll get to liking these guys. And to be clear, this is this is her lamb. So she's just confused about the smell. Now that's the one that she accepts as hers still. <coughs> and that's the lamb we just helped nurse. And the one that's on the other side of her is the one that she considers hers. So the one nursing now is the one she always likes. The one kind of sneaking in from the back is the one that she's not super sure about. <laughs> so there's some haylage for in her water bucket. There's other sheep in the pasture out there, so that's what she's looking at. You can see them. Yeah. 